you doing here on a weekend? I was asking myself that same very question, chickadees. I was asking myself that same very question. You guys should be grateful and appreciative that I decided to pop up today. Like, hello. It's July 1st. Happy No More Pride Month, y'all. Like, it's the best month ever. It's July, the month of America, the month of fireworks, of ice cream, of hot heat, humidity, and ooh, sexy shirtless man running all over the place. Mm. Oh my gosh. So, I'm on my way right now to Michael's because I have been influenced, y'all. I have been influenced. I was watching like a YouTuber, her name's Dr. Dre. She is a um, dermatologist, but she does cute like little vlogs sometimes, which you know what now, I feel like I haven't seen her post a video in a while, so I hope she's okay. She's probably like on a trip or something. She sometimes does like random stuff. But anyways, um, she went to Michael's one day and she bought this box and it's like a kit to make friendship bracelets. And it was only $10. And I was like, you know what? Like, I've never made friendship bracelets before. And honestly, they seem so cute and, like, kitsch and, like, very much, like, into, like, this, like, like, right now, like, this summer is very much, like, giving nostalgic summer vibes. Like, and what I mean by that is, like, for me, growing up, the summertime meant going absolutely nowhere like my family would literally go nowhere they would never take us anywhere like I would never even like I would literally probably stay in the house like 24 7 or like growing up like in elementary school we lived in a neighborhood so like I was always able to be out like playing with like friends but then like when they would go on like vacation and stuff and I couldn't see my friends I would just sit in the house and like do nothing so like that's like what the summertime is for like me so I remember like when I was like in middle school like it would be kind of the same thing sometimes like my friends like would pick me up and like we would go out to like the mall or something but that was like you know very like uncommon like that was oh my god it was like those remember the Shopkins that graveyard girl used to buy like oh my gosh I used to get the Shopkins which like this one's common this one's rare like oh my god but anyway so <laughs> But, like, that's what I'm trying to get at is, like, this summer, it's giving very much, like, nostalgia. Like, we really, like, I want to tap into all of those, like, little, like, kitschy memories that I have and just, like, enjoy them because it's, like, life is just too, like, like, life is just too broad and too big for me to live outside and to be so like out there and it's just like and it's expensive as fuck y'all like it really be like I swear to god like you go to a restaurant these days it costs like $20 to eat food like baby $20 it's like it's like getting into a club you got to pay that $20 fee just to sit there for two hours and then you get boosted out like damn so you know we're just giving that like <laughs> drinking some water but um like but like I think my favorite like my favorite summer like summer was 2000 like 2013 and 2014 so literally almost 10 years ago was probably like my favorite summer because like I was just like going out so much with like my friends and like we would go to like the lake, um, we would go to the mall, we would go to just like, uh, we just do like concerts, just so many like fun little things that like I just did and like I miss it, I, I miss like doing things that like I miss doing those like things with other people that make me happy. You know what I'm saying? And like, yeah. 
unfortunately, like, right now, like, I don't really, like, I do have, like, a few people I can call up and, like, do stuff with, but, like, they don't, they, they're not like my high school friends. They're not like those friends I used to have because, like, I just remember, like, nothing was ever, like, serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just used to always be so lighthearted. It used to just be, like, a fun, good time. And now, it's, like, the people that I'd be rocking with or, like, I could be rocking with. Everything is just so serious or, like, you know, like, everything is just so, like, boring. Like, there's no excitement. There's no, like, joy. It just feels very much, like, forced fun. And it's, like, there's nothing more I hate more than, like, having to have forced fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, having fun should just be, like, organic. It should just be exciting. It should just come natural to you. If you have to, like, force yourself to have fun in a situation, then you might as well not even be there. Like, you might as well not even be there. Because, obviously, you're not in the right headspace. So, it's, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, I really just feel like... Ew, like, I look so gross, like, in that angle. Like, ugh, stop. I don't know. Like, I'm just tripping. I don't know. I'm just tripping, y'all. I'm just tripping. You got me tripping. I'm stumbling. I'm thinking. I'm fumbling. Is it because I'm falling in love? In love? Uh. Also, I'm feeling influenced because I was watching someone else's YouTube video um, that, like, Michael Guy, I, like, sent you his, his like, YouTube channel, Chickadee Henry, but um, he went to Five Below and got some cunt-ass motherfucking Ray-Ban, like, sunglasses, like, not real Ray-Bans, obviously, but, like, he got some cute sunglasses from Five Below, and I really want to go to Five Below now and get some cute sunglasses, but it's, like, it's motherfucking Saturday, like... I'm not trying to go out and about on a Saturday. Like, it just be so busy. It's like, like, I need to, like, plan out, like, for, like, next week or next Saturday. Like, okay, these are the stores I want to go to. I need to wake up early and go to them as soon as they open because then they're not going to be busy. They never are. They never are. And the employees are usually, like, too busy, like, cleaning up and, like, or, like, organizing stuff to be focused on, like, you know, like, looking to see if, like, people, like, because that's, like, another thing. Like, I always get paranoid that, like, the, like, workers think I'm shoplifting. So then I look like I'm probably shop, like, shoplifting because I have that, like, anxiety in me already because I'm fearful that they think I'm shoplifting. But it's, like, I'm not shoplifting. I've never shoplifted a single thing in my entire life. I would never. I would never. I do not encourage stealing. Oh, my God. Michael's is not busy. This is so slay, like, hallelujah. I'm so mad because they had this, like, um, I don't know if y'all have ever heard the store. It's called Steinmart, but they went out of business, right? <clears throat> well, um, I thought that they should have put a gym in this spot because, like, it's a big-ass place and, like, there's no gyms around this area and they need a gym because there's a bunch of apartment complexes, right? Well, they put this stupid store. It's called Painted Tree Boutiques. It's gifts, decor, fashion, and more. Like, 
talk about like a hodgepodge store like what is your brand identity like they're gonna go out of business in one year watch watch me chickadees watch i will update y'all in one year and be like ha 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 that business went out of business okay let me go get my stuff be right be OMG, hey chickadees, I'm back. So a haul, I got my bracelets. And y'all, I like didn't know, so like if you order online, they literally just, they don't even check your ID. You just go in there and grab your stuff and leave. Like it's literally the best thing ever, but I like definitely did some shopping that I should have done. But look, I got this vase. Isn't this so freaking cute? So I got this vase, right? And then I got some of these fake flowers. Yes, I did, because I am not going to fool around with real flowers. So I'm gonna put these in the motherfucking vase, right? Like, I don't know why they have these like big bulbs on them, but it's like kind of nice, cause like keeps them like in there. And then like, isn't this so cute? Cause like my room doesn't get enough sunlight to keep like real like flowers and stuff. And like, I'll have the vase forever. So like when I move, but like, look at this. I'm gonna put this like on my dresser. Isn't that so freaking cute? Like it's a great way. Just to add like a little bit of greenery and pop of color. Like, just love it so much. It was like $20. Like you can't go wrong with $20. You know what I'm saying? Like everything and everything was on sale. Like I got like the fake flowers, all that, like all the fake flowers and everything, those cost a lot of money. Those, that was like $11. And then the vase was, the vase was $7.50. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you can't go wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll have the vase forever. It literally fits my aesthetic so well. Like, I will literally have that vase for the rest of my life. Like, I'm not going to get rid of that vase. Like, I love that vase. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is very much, like, tapping into my summer nostalgia because that is exactly, like, what I would have done. 10 years ago is I would have bought that vase and I would have bought those flowers because I do like I previously did that before like I used to like I love like those little um like oh shoot I forgot I can't turn right here oh my god I'm gonna go a different way <coughs> oh my god there's so much traffic oh my god there's so much happening like someone's literally gonna get hit and it's not about to be me um, just trying to figure out like what these cars are doing, where they're going. Is anyone behind me? No, thank God. Oh my God. Like, I'm literally having a panic attack right now, chickadees. Like, I'm, like, I don't know why people don't use their turn signal. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would just be so helpful if people use their turn signal so I can know where they're going. Because like, I don't know where y'all are going. don't know where you're going so literally driving all the way up here just so that I can do like a u-turn because like I'm not about to stress out anymore no I'm not no I'm not see oh my god it's perfect no one's coming and I'm gonna do a little u-turn or whatever and get my cute sexy little ass home but I'm so excited chickadees like I'm loving like the color palette too, like the box is blue. It was so funny, they had all the pride stuff was 40% off. So if y'all wanna get some pride stuff, it's 40% off now at Michael's. They said, move out my way, I'm rolling with the LGBT. Rolling with the LGBT. It was so awkward in there too, because like there was this mom yelling at her son or whatever. And then like the dad, he was total like beta and like, it's just so funny because like literally reminds me of my family because I'm just like it's so funny oh lord I've got a minivan driver behind me I swear to god minivan drivers are the most aggressive heinous people on this planet like I just don't understand why they're always in a hurry and like they've always just gotta go like how many freaking soccer games do you have to get your kids to? Like, it just does not make sense to me. Like, look, literally not even looking. She's just going to follow my tail, too, and follow me out the turn. She, she's 
said, I don't care. I'm driving a tank. I'm driving a mom version of a tank. Hit me, bitch. Look, they're about to pass me. It's so funny. It's so funny. Like, you, oh, you guys can't see because it's on that side, but let's see. Let's see what type of minivan it is. I know it's a Toyota. Oh, it's like a Toyota Highlander. So it's not a real minivan, but it's close enough. It's close enough. So yeah, like, I'm just going to be taking it very chill this weekend. Just going to be like cozying it up at home because like I did so much of my homework assignments that like I can really just like relax this weekend. I'm picking up this cute little hobby of making little friendship bracelets and yeah. Uh, I wish I had a clipboard because like apparently like you can use like a clipboard. Like like you need to use a clipboard or something. I don't know. Like I don't have a clipboard. I don't feel like going to I don't feel like spending any more money than I've spent. $20 is really pushing it. And then the bracelets, the bracelets were like seven. So like I spent $30. I just spent $30. $30. But I'm just like so cute. Like I can't, but these flowers are just so freaking cute. They're so freaking cute. Okay guys, well I think I'm gonna head off now because I wanna blast the AC because I'm freaking sweating bullets. Sweating bullets. Um, but yeah, like, I try to vlog inside the store, chickadees. I really did, but it's just too awkward. Like, I'm sorry. It's just so awkward. But yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, the exotic pet store is bumping today. I hooked up with the guy who owns the exotic pet store. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Like, I mean, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He was fine too. He had curly. You know, I have a thing for these guys with the curly hair. He literally, he literally looked like Jack Harlow. It's so freaking funny. He drives a sexy freaking car. Even though I'm pretty sure it was a Chevy Impala, but, like, it was just, like, tinted out. But, like, I remember, like, the, like, the sides of the car, like, had these accents that lit up in glue. Glue. Glowed. They, they were, like, they were colored. Like, they were lights. It was so cool. I felt like it was in a limousine. Um, but, yeah, like... Oh my god, the light is green. It's literally never green for me to turn. Uh, is it? I'm not gonna make it. Damn. Damn. Okay, bye guys. Have a great weekend. Have a great 4th of July. I don't know if I'll be able to post a video because I don't have work until Wednesday. So, this is kind of like the special treat of this video. Okay, bye.